And you specialized in analysis, as Sandy's already mentioned, and you know, in the art and science of analysis traces all the way back to the very beginning of the intelligence community. And so can you tell us a little bit of how that started, you know, how analysis got engaged with the field side and how it kind of works? The operations guys don't like it when I say this, but analysis is actually the pointy end of the spear, right? Because what, what analysts do is they take all the information that's available to the U.S. government and they try to make sense of it right, for the president and the president's senior advisors. Um, and they're the ones interacting with the policymakers, right? It's not the, it's not the operations guys who are doing that, it's, it's the analysts. Um, and it's not the raw reporting that, that drives big decisions, it's, it's the analysis. And I like to think of, of analysis not as connecting the dots, which, which is what we heard after 9-11, right, mm -hmm. failure to connect dots. Um, I don't like that metaphor because, you know, we all think of the connect the dot game that we played as kids, right? The dots are right there in front of you and it's easy to connect them and it makes the whole thing sound too easy. So the metaphor I like is that of putting a puzzle together, a thousand piece puzzle, and you only have about 250 of the thousand pieces. So 750 of them are missing. And then you've got maybe another 5,000 pieces that look like they belong to that puzzle, but really don't. Mm -hmm. And your job is to put that puzzle together, um, those 250 pieces, and tell um, smart policymakers um, what you think you're looking at, right? And what your level of confidence is in what you're looking at. Um, and that's really hard. And you have to do that under time pressure. So that's that for me is a much better metaphor of what analysis is all about. So it's it's obviously a very important skill, as you say, the the pointy end of the spear. Um, how does a young al analyst learn to do this? How is it? What are you trying to inculcate in these people so they start to get it right from day one? Even though they probably have a lot of experiences along the way that that polish that skill, how do you teach somebody to be an analysis? What are you telling them? You teach them three things. You teach them critical thinking skills, right? You teach them um, to be very um, critical of the information they're looking at, to ask a lot of questions about the information that they're looking at, because a good chunk of the information you're, you're receiving is wrong, right? It's factually incorrect. So be super critical about what, you, you know, the quote, the facts you're looking at, unquote. Um, and then you teach them how to, how to see connections um, between that data. You teach them how to ask the right question. Um, because oftentimes um, the, the, the best insights come out of asking just the right question. So you teach them that. You teach them techniques to, to test their own analysis, right? You teach them to ask, um, here's what I think is happening here, but is there any other possibility that fits the data, you know, as well or better than, than my idea here? Um, you teach them to do assumptions checks and, and there's all sorts of techniques. Um, probably the most important thing, um, the, the most important part of the process is what I mentioned earlier is, is this thing we call confidence levels and confidence levels were not taken seriously until, um, the, the, the CIA's failure to accurately assess, um, Saddam Hussein's weapons of mass destruction. Uh, the analysts had high confidence in that judgment, and in retrospect, they should not have. They should have only had low confidence. And so post-Iraq WMD, we, we started taking confidence levels very seriously. Every judgment is accompanied by a confidence level. Um, and why do I have that confidence level? Is my, is my information dated? Um, do I have just a few sources rather than a lot of sources? Um, What's the quality of those sources? Um, is, it, is it somebody who heard something from a friend who heard it from a friend, or is it somebody who was in the room when the prime minister said it? So all of that comes together, right, in assessing a confidence level. And, and we've gotten to the point now where policymakers understand the confidence levels as well as analysts, and there's actually a conversation in the sit room, not only about the judgments, but about the confidence levels themselves. 